Let me show y'all something real quick, okay? Look, I made uh, thirty-six dollars eighteen minutes. I did fourteen dollars in four minutes. By the way, that was a, a twenty dollar tip right there. Then, look, check me out, y'all. Then. $13, 10 minutes, $7, 4 minutes, $7, 5 minutes, $30, 7 minutes, $13, 15 minutes, $8, 2 minutes, $6 on the cancellation, $17, 5 minutes, and y'all read the tips, $26, 18 minutes, Thirteen dollars eight minutes, twenty six dollars thirteen minutes, and these not the same ones. That twenty six dollar was thirteen minutes forty six seconds, and that was eighteen minutes for that twenty six dollars. Yo, so what time did I start today? I started at four o'clock. So, and how much did I make so far? Let's see. Let's see. 230 plus I made what 30 in cash 260 since four o'clock so eight hours 260 what I'm saying is like on a rainy day I could really make more Ubering you hear me you see what that has say though but look check this out and look how I look I got a white t-shirt on, a hood hat on, one gauge, so I look like just a regular little a afro. Look, let me get cut the light on. Afro, raggedy afro, and I'm getting this. So the secret to that is you got, first of all, you got to treat people like you serving them, bro. You know how when we on the block and we say we serving somebody? When you serve somebody, it's kind of like being a waiter or a waitress or anybody in position. You have to cater to your customer. They're paying you to assist them. They're not paying you to do what you want to do. See, this is the thing. Y'all think people paying y'all to do what y'all want to do. That's just like if somebody pay you to do a song for them. Y'all going to do what y'all want to do. The people telling you what they want y'all to do. If you a stripper or, or a dancer or somebody or athlete, when the people who paying you tell you what they want, you have to do what make them happy. You happy with your payday or the opportunity where it could take you. Stop doing stuff that y'all want to do, bro. That's why I was always a loser. Because I always did it my way. My way or the highway turned out to be the wrong way. Yeah. Now, I'm not, that don't mean you got to let somebody run over you or disrespect you. Because it ain't really worth that. But if you know you could control your anger and it's going to stop you from being homeless, dead, in a hospital, without a family member, or in jail, bro, be smart about it. Sometimes it takes a man to control your emotions. That's why women try to push y'all buttons. They want to see how much of a man y'all is. But if they was a real woman, instead of pushing your buttons, they'll push your dream, your goal, your narrative. So that's what triggers us. It's like, so you in my face? Like you with me? But you testing me? So you're my teacher now. No, lead by example. This just a minor. I'm just showing y'all something. Minor. 
it's to be sold, not told. But in order to keep it, I got to give it away. I got to give y'all this game. So I can stay sharp. Because iron sharp and iron. But why you think I'm going to mess with you? You might be plastic. You might be cardboard. You might be some uh some stone or something that's going to dull me, bro. No. I don't rock with her. Hey, I speak to everybody. But I don't eat with everybody. I'll feed anybody. But I'm not going to let anybody feed me. But what you make don't make me nothing. And what you eat <laughs> come out of you. It go to you. It feeds you. So, guess what? Back in the day, when you seen somebody with their hat back, that mean they stay ready. That mean, hey, if it's time to fight, fight. Thank God he ain't never put me up against like a Mike Tyson or somebody. Because I would have got knocked out. But again, bro. Take a look at that again. That's, hey, I'm really, hey, you don't got to go put on no uniform. But guess what? You got to crawl before you walk. If y'all know y'all got criminal records and you sometimes you got to have a low paying uh, 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 go pick up the trash ass job until you qualify. And then guess what? If you can't never qualify, guess what you got to do? You got to create your own lane. You got to pave your own way. And that still take hard work and dedication. Cause guess what? Why am I going to feed you when I know you ain't going to do nothing but crap it out? You ain't trying to do nothing with it. I'm going to give you mine that I'm going to do something with for you. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You got to earn it, bro. Earn it, bro. Even when you put something in your body, your body got to digest it. Ain't nothing come from nothing, bro. Y'all got a fake uh, belief that y'all could just magically float to your destination. And even if you floated there, it ain't, you ain't blinking. No matter what you do, take effort. It take, try to sit still without moving. I'm talking about don't move, bro. Sit still like one of them people in Vegas that look like a mannequin or something. And that take effort. Now, just using the least effort you could do to survive, you don't get the least results. Now, do some people get fortunate and be in the right place at the right time? Possibly. Do some people be in the wrong place at the wrong time? For sure. But guess what, man? I'd rather have one in the hand than two in the bushes, my boy. Yeah, bro. I'd rather, because you might not make it to the bushes, my boy. So, and what's in the bushes might not be there when you get there, my boy. So, always go for something solid. Something that's concrete. Look for something they can't take from you. With that being said, it's your boy, Mr. Mr. You can just call him Mr. Hey, Mr. Or oh, Sir. Sir. Sir, sir, tell a lot of stories. Yeah, man. Say, OG Purge, I was so mad when you stole that Tales from a Crib, man. That was my, that was my stuff, man. Tales from a Crib. We been saying that in Gallery. I know I was. But that, because I grew up on Tales from a Crib. Yeah, just like you did, 50-something, boy. I'm out. Cut the camera. Love you, though, boy.